An illegal pot shop on the Upper West Side is shut down, but the business reopened just hours later. All right, Fox 5's Michelle Ross talked to those who live there and lawmakers who say they're fed up with these unlicensed shops. The NYPD's ESU using a forcible entry saw to remove this lock. Zaza Waza Smoke Shop is the store it's being removed from, which has been on the radar of city officials for two years and was shut down yesterday after selling tobacco and cannabis products unlicensed. But this morning, it was a different story. Much to our surprise, it was wide open and right back in business. The store boldly reopened but was forced to close again today and they used their own locks, which is why city employees came to remove and replace them with padlocks from the city. Now the city doesn't have authority to shut down these unlicensed stores for selling marijuana, so legally it was done for the tobacco. Council member Brewer wants an amendment to the state cannabis law. Currently, the cannabis law preempts the city council and the city from creating a local civil enforcement structure. The sensible tobacco enforcement law gives city agencies the ability to close these unlicensed stores, which often sell marijuana too after the third offense. Zazawaza has 47 violations. Pam Carr works at this eyebrow threading studio next door and says it bothered her customers. How many people is standing outside the smoke and all smells to my my store. Meredith Berkman and her grassroots organization, Parents Against Vaping E-Cigarettes, have reported the smoke shop many times. There are thousands of Zaza Wazas in every borough and in every neighborhood selling to our kids, and it has to stop. And the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection put its initials on this padlock. So if the store decides to replace this padlock again with its own, the city will know. Zaza Waza will not be able to reopen until it pays more than $200,000 in penalties and gets licensed. On the Upper West Side, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.